from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another day where we had 100 degree temperatures in Lafayette, but at least some storms this afternoon. So let's get to it and tell you what's going on and what we expect as we move forward. Showers and storms uh, working their way around the periphery of a big high pressure ridge. It's far enough to the west where we're seeing little perturbations that start up by Texas Panhandle up here, the Oklahoma Panhandle, Kansas. You see that one right there. That's going to be working its way around and working its way southward and maybe another disturbance coming in a little bit earlier tomorrow. Looks like more like tomorrow mid afternoon, late afternoon at the latest, uh, which means we may not hit 100 degrees tomorrow, but impressive storms moving into the area. A lot of cloud to ground lightning with these storms and some strong and gusty winds, and that was the MO. So let's back it up over the last six hours. We were watching showers and storms. We thought we'd see a little action tonight, but not the action that really got together. Uh, it's acting together as it moves southward and interestingly enough if you watch this and you're the one of the weather nerds out there watch what we see almost right toward the end here almost like a little rotation like a little bit of a mezzo low that developed as the storms moved on through always have to watch these in September because sometimes they spin something up out in the Gulf of Mexico not expecting it with this but nonetheless very intense storms moving on through and they're confined now mainly to the coastal areas where it's still raining where people People are. We are in northwestern uh, St. Mary Parish. Still some downpours here, but the gusty winds are diminishing. The rains will be diminishing as well in the next 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on your location. You can see the most intense storms, intracoastal city on southward, down along the coast, and right near the Pecan Island area. Still a lot of cloud to ground lightning going on here. I always like to query this, and we'll see if we can make this happen right here. Let's see how much lightning we have just in this one uh, box area right Right here and uh, the computer's thinking about it doesn't want to say anything but uh, grant you there's a lot of cloud to ground lightning there and you saw me bending over on television so whatever uh, here we go with uh, the reports here uh, these are the severe storm reports there were power outages uh, and some trees down in around the Grand Coteau area Leonville farther north and west also some golf ball size hail in Oberlin there was some P to marble size hail along I-49 this evening you see all the storms uh, farther to the east and to the north North producing wind damage and tomorrow per the storm prediction center the, we might see a repeat especially across the western half of the state and then into southeast Texas with damaging winds being the main threat but maybe some hail as well. Meanwhile in the tropics it's cooking out in the Atlantic with a tropical storm and now a category 5 hurricane. This is Lee and again this is an 18 hour loop and just look how that eye developed during the course of the last 18 hours then got very organized now it's tightening up and it continues to intensify and this is the first category five storm out in this part of the world for a while 160 mile per hour winds moving to the west northwest the forecast brings it to 180 later on tonight but I've been looking at some of the tropical models and they're showing anywhere between 195 to maybe 205 so uh, that's rarefied air I don't think we'll see a storm over 200 miles an hour but uh, maybe 185 or 190 will be possible and the storm is working its way into the warmest waters of this part of the Atlantic. So it's going to be a five for maybe a day or two, uh, which is very rare to see a storm a five longer than a 24 hour period and still will be a potent category four. But fortunately, as we head into early next week, it will begin to make a turn to the north and the folks along the east coast will be watching it from New England down to Bermuda and the Canadian Maritime. So this is the way it looks on the European model as we look at the water vapor in the atmosphere and again, drier air moving in here by the end of the weekend. It's going to be very nice. And then we'll be watching this storm working its way northward. Another frontal boundary comes in. We're in good shape. Uh, but Bermuda, New England, and Nova Scotia and Newfoundland will be watching this system for sure. So overnight tonight, things quieting down. Then for tomorrow, we start out in the 70s. And then tomorrow afternoon, showers and storms coming in. The model's still going for about 99. But I think the storm's coming a little bit earlier. Uh, strong storms, maybe a few 
few severe producing damaging winds. Thereafter, it will quiet down. So overnight tonight, we'll go 76 the low. Rain chances down to 41% right now, but they'll, they'll be dropping off lower later on tonight. There you go to 20%. And then for tomorrow, we'll go with a 70% chance of storms in the afternoon hours. Another hot day, but notice how the clouds darken our uh, skycast data really showing the, those uh, storms moving in from the north once again. And that's why they usually have damaging winds when uh, they come in from the north like that and you have high heat out ahead of things. So as we finish off going into the weekend, showers end early Saturday. The weekend's going to be nice, low to mid 90s oh. and lows in the upper 60s. Still got some mid 90s in there, but overall we're starting to see it's it happening. Yeah. And there's no 100s on day 9 or 10, <laughs> yeah, which has yeah. been all Good. Things can change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hopefully not. <laughs> Thanks, Rob.